is a uh, a drawbridge, basically a drawbridge in the centre. Um, they had to make it a drawbridge because between here and London Bridge was located the Pool of London, part of the Port of London. So ships, or tall ships, had to be get had to be able to get past Tower Bridge in order to get to the Pool of London. So in the middle, uh, the bridge splits in two. They open up to 83 degrees. Um, they have around a thousand openings a year. Um, uh, one very oh, famous event that took place in the 1950s was that one side of the bridge started to open automatically, and a London bus had to jump the gap, just like in Speed minus Keanu Reeves. <laughs> uh, it was only about a three foot drop, but it did manage to make it as the other side had not started to raise yet. The colours that you can see, the red, white and blue, date back to 1997, the Queen's Jubilee. It was painted in the colours of the Union Jack. The, the walkways at the top were closed from 1910 until 1982. Uh, by 1910, it had become a bit of a haven for prostitutes and pickpockets. They opened it up in 1982 when being either a prostitute or a pickpocket was deemed as being okay. Yeah. That's, that's not true. <laughs> they opened it up as part of the Tower Bridge experience, uh, an experience where you can go in and learn all about the construction of Tower Bridge and the Victorian pump rooms that used to drive <laughs> the drawbridges. Okay, construction started in 1886 and took around eight years be while, to complete. <laughs> Out here to the left, the very iconic Tower of London. Uh, if I'm going to recommend one historical site to go and see, I would recommend this one here. It has a history almost as long as London itself. The foundations date back to around 1078 when the Norman King William the Conqueror came over and decided to build a keep for uh, to defend his newly uh, acquired country. Okay, in the centre there is the White Tower, which uh, gives the Tower of London its name. There are three wards. There's the innermost ward, the inner ward and the outer ward uh, that were expanded on over the years by various different kings and rulers. What is it used for? Um, today it's used as a museum. Originally